Hey everyone, Anarchy here with another video. Today's video is about Fnatic's stellar play against FaZe. In the match to get through in the playoffs of E-League, Fnatic showed what made them the best team in the world for so long. Olaf's back, boys. What I'll be breaking down is one specific round for Fnatic's CT side, where they picked every single element of FaZe's slow approach apart. So, let's start with FaZe's game plan for the round. The plan is to hold every part of the map. Phase watches B passively from Sunroom, holds mid with a little bit of aggression, watches counter boost, watches for A main pushers, and holds squeaky. The idea is that if any single CT pushes on the map, Phase has an opportunity to get a pick. The next phase of the round is getting AZ posted in mid along with Kiyoshima. Phase does this very diligently, and they use grenades perfectly. Kyo is extremely disciplined, holding vents as well, while AZ pushes forward. The plan here is to clear out the path for AZ to push up highway and get the huge back site presence that having highway provides. You can see anyone on the back of the site from highway. At the same time, Rain makes his way over from sunroom to A. The end goal for FaZe is to split the site. And although the strategy looks strange, it is a creative way to change pace on the CTs. FaZe has all of their players pushing from A main go towards Toxic Barrel, allowing them to clear out E box and forklift while having cover from quad instead of fighting quad directly. It also allows AZ to catch out anyone shifting on the back of the site from highway. Now that we know what FaZe's plan is, how does Fnatic respond at each stage of FaZe's strategy? During the early parts of the round, Fnatic stays patient and saves a couple of grenades. They also continue scouting and call FaZe's bluff at B. This is essential. Rain threw grenades to act as if the terrorists were taking control of checkers. However, Olaf stays in checkers and gains the information that no one is actually pushing at B. When FaZe attacks middle, Fnatic responds by rotating Olaf towards mid, as they just realized the grenades thrown at B from FaZe were most likely a diversion. They scout as much as they can by boosting above the smoke and the site players prepare themselves for the execute by using their smokes and getting in strong positions to have 1v1s against the pushing terrorists. When the execute came, Fnatic was ready. Flesha tried to catch off guard the terrorists in mid from Z Connector, but he was killed by Kiyoshima, the second mid player from FaZe. Dennis realizes that a second mid player being that far back means the player on close highway will be alone, so he takes the duel against AZ and wins it. FaZe's split is now destroyed because although the terrorists can slow down and wait for Kiyoshima, that allows too much time for the CT defense to rotate it, which they are already at the site. The gaps have closed, and even with a heroic effort by Kiyoshima, Fox is put into a 1v2. What's amazing about this round is that every single player from Fnatic plays correctly. They also react properly to what FaZe is doing as a team. Now, that doesn't mean they're guaranteed a win, because Fnatic was on a force buy and FaZe still had control of middle. But Fnatic didn't overextend anywhere. They kept the terrorists in the dark by not pushing. The big lesson to learn is that slow terrorist play can be countered. When the terrorists hold, you don't push, save your grenades for the execute, and gather information about where the terrorists are. When the terrorists take control, you either fight it, if you have the resources, or if you don't, you back up, keep tabs on the terrorists, and gather more information. The more information you have, the more sure you can be where the terrorists will hit, allowing you to rotate accordingly. Lastly, when the terrorists finally attack one of the sites, use those grenades that you saved, get in strong positions, attack the isolated players, and catch them off guard. When they're executing as a unit, you need to catch them off guard, which Fnatic did exceptionally well by attacking the middle players. Also, while there's so little time left during the execute, you pressure the terrorists by holding the site and not leaving your spots. That wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.